we're very pleased to see the roadmap that Send Bureau has produced. Um, we discussed it a few weeks ago and um, it's got all the various elements that we would expect to see in terms of developing breakthrough technologies, looking at the whole uh, life cycle of products and connecting it both to the European Union's Paris Agreement commitments and to our objectives on circularity. First off, I wanted to join um, others in congratulating Emmanuel and his colleagues on getting the roadmap out at what we know is a difficult time for the sector. Um, as Peter already emphasised, we're still very much in the early days of the COVID-19 crisis. The impact it's going to have on EU energy intensives over the coming months and next few years is still really unclear. And so it sends a very strong signal to stick to existing plans on climate ambition and put down a marker for climate neutrality despite all of this uncertainty. It really makes very clear the point that this crisis doesn't change that long-term commitment. Um, it's, it's great in that context to also see this meant industry really signaling a readiness to make profound emissions cuts. That top line conclusion that you have in the pathway that climate neutrality is ambitious, but it is possible, is, is very helpful. And the way you situated it in the context of the European Green Deal, so the fact that the sector has obviously put forward roadmaps before, but you really saw the European Green Deal as a call to accelerate action and to come forward with a vision on, on how that acceleration might work. Uh, I think the, the roadmap and also this event is very timely. It comes in a very right moment when, uh, I mean, all our you know, stakeholders and society is discussing uh, how Europe will be looking, uh, looking forward. And uh, the, the host of initiatives that were recently published uh, by the EU, by the Commission, whether it is a Green Deal or a very recent recovery package, only uh, underline the, uh, the time element of this discussion. Mm -hmm.